this is the life. Oh, oh, sorry, guys, I am on location. The boss has sent me up to Townsville to film the Foley Shield Grand Final to take you on a history of what it is all about, the teams that have played in it, and some of the great characters. We're going to find the uh, Townsville Sports Reserve and see who's going to take out the final this year. Welcome to uh, Bindal and uh, Wakarupa Bar People's uh, Country, uh, which is where we are, and to uh, acknowledge the traditional owners for letting us play our, uh, our great carnival here this weekend. Foley Shield started in 1948, named after Arch Foley, who, who was just a, a man among men in rugby league circles here in the north. And uh, you know, we had about five years off in the, uh, the early 90s, and we've got it back together. And what we've done is the board's met and we've really rejuvenated it. Um, as chairman of the division, I've been up into the Torres Straits and the Cape and we've talked to the people there about being involved. Uh, Innisvale, Eacham have come back and um, you know, we've had Mackay, Townsville and Cairns. We've brought Mount Isa back combined with the Midwest, so those little towns of Cloncurry, Hewenden, Richmond, you know, Julia Creek and of course they have Normanton and, uh, and Doomadgee in their competitions. So everyone's been invited back, the six teams. Uh, we played here on, on Good Friday. You're still playing, tell us what team you're playing for. Uh, Cape Torres um, combined. Um, it was a funny story, I just I was coming down to run the water and uh, a couple of front rows pulled out so they asked me to play, so hey, it's all, all turned out really well. Was it fair to say that the, the Foley Shield was the lifeblood of the towns that entered teams in it? It certainly was because Foley Shield final weekend, you get people from the north, you get people from the west, you get people from the south and congregating on Townsville and it's more or less like a big reunion in the north, yeah. It's good to see whoever steering this committee to do such a thing and resurrecting the Fowler Shield is just got to get better as the years goes on, you know. Lo and behold, I've run into one of the former Cowboys mentors, Graham Murray. How are you, mate? Hey, good, Tony. Yeah, it's great. Mate, what are you doing in retirement? Yeah, I'm, I'm not coaching anymore. Uh, I'm now the operations manager for Townsville and District Rugby League. I sp basically spend 20 hours a week with the juniors and 20 with the seniors, and you know anything needs to be done to try and make them a better club, but not necessarily in coaching. Really good concept. You know, the Foley Shield has been one of those traditional um, competitions in in Queensland. We've rekindled it over Easter, and uh, it's been fantastic football. You know, we're breaking down a lot of barriers um, through sport, but we're also working on health and education. You know, since we've had development offices in the, in the, uh, in the Cape, the education uh, rate has increased by 7%. People, don't, people think of footy and they think of those things that go wrong at the top end of town. We're at the grassroots, I tell you, we're out there rolled our sleeves up, our heads down, our bums up, and we're working together. And, you know, we're bringing Torres Strait Island together with Aboriginal from the Cape. We're, we're bringing Ringer together with a miner. We're bringing a cane cutter with a, a, a fisherman together, and they're all having a go at and, and through sport they're united and I think that's just a great and like you said people have come out that we haven't seen for years I, I run into blokes I went to school with us I was being bullying in the old day I run into people look the Daisy Brothers down there from Mount Isa some of the lads from the Curry it, it's just so good